little yeah, guy. I mean, you didn't win another. I'm looking at a very small man. That's cute. Look, I don't know if you're fully aware of this, okay, dipshit, but uh, anybody see me get pinned out there? Just real, just quick, show of hands. Show of, oh, that's right, I didn't, because I'm still undefeated, asshole. Next question. Why didn't you uh, get out there and- Chris! Hey, buddy. Chris Van Vliet. What's up, man? Yeah. How's it going? Hey. Yeah. Uh, your best friend, Cody Rhodes, took a chair shot to the head. Why <sighs> weren't you out there in time? I wasn't out there. I was the first person out there. Sprinted out there. I mean, that, uh, first of all, Sean Spears is a despicable human being. As everybody knows, I'm a salt of the earth person. And uh, when I saw that, when I saw my best friend, my mentor, uh, Cody Rhodes, just get hit like that. It... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, it messed me up. That's somebody that I genuinely care about. And uh, that sucked. That sucked. But he's okay. Um, he's in the back. So let's just keep on rolling with the, uh, the important questions, man. We haven't, we, we haven't seen chair shots to the head in quite some time. Were you, were you caught off guard by it? Like, yes, yeah, fuck Sean Spears, man. He, he's a complete scumbag. And uh, it, it, it's sad to think that he would stoop to that level when Cody was nothing but an amazing friend to him. I mean, they both came up in the developmental system in, in OVW, and they were both very tight for their whole entire lives, and now all of a sudden this guy just can turn his back on Cody. Completely so, despicable action. I'm still okay. talking. I'm sorry. Just, uh, completely Cody despicable action. What, what do you want for us? Cody being your best friend, then you're going after Sean then next? I mean, your friend? I mean, look, at the end of the day, I, I'm not going to fight Cody's battles. Cody's a grown man. But uh, I, I love that man to death, and if Sean Spears, if Sean Spears comes, comes up to me and tries to have a conversation, I can assure you it's, it's not going to end with words, it's going to end with fists. You, you've called yourself the fastest rising star in all eight wrestling. Yeah, duh. One would argue that Hangman Page is actually the fastest rising star in eight. Yeah, one would, one would argue that what do, what do you, you have think literally no that? idea what you're talking about. Well, he's fighting for the um, belt now. Yeah, whatever, asshole. Uh, here's the thing, right? So I was in an over-the-top battle royal, right? And I was in the first group. Right? Was Hangman in the first group? No. So I literally, I literally withstanded so many more men than that asshole. Here he comes just waltzing in after I literally, from Jump Street was in the match all the way to the end. His win was a fluke. And tonight, I didn't get pinned. So once again, his win was a fluke. Hangman has proved nothing. There is nobody in professional wrestling today that can grab you by the balls like Maxwell Jacob Friedman. I don't make you go to the edge of your seat. I make you fall off your seat. I don't make you turn your head. I make you break your neck. That's why I am the future of professional wrestling. That's why I am going to be the face of this company. And that's why Hangman Page is just a fluke sea biscuit bastard with a bum knee. Next question. Somebody asked you about Sean Spears, if he's your next battle. It seems like the way you finished the fight tonight, the finish the match tonight with Hangman and the way you've spoken about him, is that your next, the guy you have in your target? Look, everybody wants to know who I'm wrestling next because once again, I am the future face of the company and everybody wants to know what I'm going to do next. Everybody wants to see what I'm going to do next. And the bottom line is, I'm going to do whatever I'm getting paid to do. I get paid by Tony Khan, TK, another very solid friend of mine. So I'm going to wrestle whoever I get paid to, to wrestle. Will I be very happy to go one-on-one -on -one with Hangman Page to finally prove, since I've never been one-on-one -on -one with Hangman Page, that every single one of his victories so far, since the start of this promotion, have been absolute flukes? I would love that. Would I like to get in the ring with Sean Spears, a complete scumbag who hit my friend for no reason, literally no reason, after nothing but amazing friendship? Yes, I would love to get in the ring with Sean Spears. I would love to get in the ring with those two people, absolutely. But. On any given night, you put me in the ring with any given person, and I can assure you, you are only going to see an amazing match. Next question. You called out a bunch of gamers' moms tonight. Is there any line that you won't cross? No. Line? I don't, I don't, I'm, not even, I'm not even near the line. I think it's absolutely preposterous. All these people that work with me in this company for some reason, they just want to tiptoe. They just want to tiptoe wherever they go. They're so nervous. Oh my god, what if somebody doesn't like me? I don't give a shit what any of you think. Do you know why? It's because I'm better than you, and you know it. Next question. Uh, on that note, your, uh, Jungle Boy was in here a little while ago, and he mentioned that your promo went, what he thought was going to be a shorter promo, went a little long. Are there any repercussions for you backstage if you take too much time shorter? on a microphone? Sh shorter? Longer? He, I'm sorry. He wasn't anticipating you for you to... Let me, let me explain something to you, okay, little man? Okay. I can literally talk as long as I goddamn well please because I'm the star attraction. I'm going to be the face of this company. That's why Tony Khan and my best friend, don't know if you ever heard of him, Cody Rhodes, allow me to do whatever the fuck I want to do. It's because I'm MJF and you're not. I'm out.